Imagine, if you will, two friends, boys, who sneak out and take a boat across the water to an island where they're not supposed to go. They're only 14. And on that island they find a boat washed up from a flood high in a tree. And they also find a man living in that boat, obviously homeless, pretty grubby looking, and they get to know him. And we, the viewers, get to know him too. And we, the viewers, wonder what the two friends wonder. Is this guy a nut and dangerous, or is this a good person who needs our help? This is the basic situation at the beginning of the movie Mud, which I want to use here to illustrate how character and plot work together so well. The main character, Mud, Matthew, played by Matthew McGonaghy, and Ty Sheridan um, get to know each other, and Ty gradually starts to like and trust Mud more, although his friend is still a little suspicious. And we, the viewers, are still not sure, because we find out Mud has killed someone, and he's hiding out on this island. He tells the boys the story of why he killed who he killed, and we like them can sort of see him as a good person but we're not sure. Now look what happens with this question as the plot unfolds. Two key terms related to plot that I'm going to use are exposition and foreshadowing. Exposition is information, background story that we're, the, the viewer is given to help understand the situation. And also, it might be information that we need later in the plot as the tension builds and the climax approaches, information that we need to understand what's going on and also to enjoy it more. Because when, when the story is in the thick of it, in the heat of things, it's awkward to come in and give us background information at that time. That's not how life really works. And the other term I want to use is foreshadowing. You probably have heard it, and some of you have used it in the forum. That's simply where the writer or the director gives us hints of what's to come, to again, to increase the tension and make the story more interesting. The foreshadowing that we get in Mud is of cottonmouth snakes. We get camera close-ups of them in this creek that the kids have to cross to get to where uh, Mud, Matthew McGonaghy is camping out. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and we get some exposition where Mud tells them the story because he's got a snake tattoo and they ask about it and as they're doing something else, they're walking along the beach, he tells them that as a kid he was bitten by a cottonmouth, he was saved by a girl who's also part of the story, um, and he, he was rushed to the hospital and given the anti-venom. And he gives us this little piece of information that once you've taken the anti-venom, you cannot take it again. Now I'm not sure if that fact is true, does anyone know? Um, but it's true in the movie. So he, if he ever gets bitten by a cottonmouth again, he's going to die, right? So here's what plot does with this question. Is this guy an insane murderer, you know, like so many of the people we've met last week? Or, you know, is he someone, uh, who, you know, who's in a situation that he didn't create, that he was a pretty good guy? Um, what happens is uh, the kid, I forget his name in the, in the movie, it's Ty Sheridan is the actor, um, has an argument with Mud and says, you're a liar, you've been manipulating us, you're, you're getting us to steal things for you all because of this dream of this woman and I met her and, you know, and the plot has revealed to him some things about Mud. Anyway, he yells and, the, and he storms away and he falls into the creek. Now we already saw that creek is full of cotton mouths. The camera angle showed us, you know, all these little ones. Um, uh, and his friend freaks out, runs back to Mud and says, he fell into the creek, he's going to die, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so what Mud does at this point is not freeze, as someone might, not run away, as someone might, and not say, well, he's a goner, as someone might. What he does is he sprints faster than you can believe anybody could run to that creek, and he doesn't lean over and pull the kid out, even though you could. It's not that deep a creek. He jumps into the water. Now, we already know if he gets bitten by a cottonmouth, he's going to die. He jumps in, scoops the kid up, and rushes faster than you think anybody could run to the boat. They zoom across the river. He jumps onto the scooter that the kids uh, drove on um, and rushes the guy, rushes the kid 
to the clinic to try to save his life. Now I forgot to tell you this other little bit of exposition we got that makes this scene even better is we found out that when you're bitten by a cotton mouth you have about 20 minutes to get the antivenom or it's all over. And we know that. So as and, and it happens that the, the kid's friend has a watch, which I never did notice. You know, that seemed a little hole in the plot. But he does have a watch uh, and he's you know, so he can say how much time is up. So Mud gets him to the clinic in time, saves his life. Now we already know, because we've been told that state troopers are looking for him all over this quite small town, that just to go to town risks his freedom. He already risked his life by jumping into the Cottonmouth Creek and not happen, you know, happen to, happening not to get bit. Uh, but, we, but he knew he would die. We knew he would die, and he did it anyway. So that reveals his character big time. And plus he goes into the town just to save the kid's life, risking his freedom. Uh, luckily, they don't catch him. And notice I said luckily here, because now I like him. By this point in the movie, he's a good guy. He's quirky. He's got some, you know, he's got some weird things about him. But his deep character is heroic. He saved the kid, who's been characterized as a really good kid. We like him. So that's how the plot revealed character. It answered the question, what kind of person is this? And remember last week when we were, uh, well, it's this week still, um, in week four, uh, when we were talking about how to characterize someone, one of the ways on that list was, how do they act? Obviously, especially, how do they act under pressure? Earthquake comes, what does the mother do? You know, um, guy loses his job, what does he do? Pressure reveals character, and pressure is plot. Stuff happens. Bad stuff, good stuff happens, and that shows who you are, what kind of person you are. But watch this. Character also drives the plot. How so? Well, things don't happen if characters don't want anything, or don't fear anything, or don't have anything to run away from. Notice A and P, which a lot of people didn't like because nothing happened until the end. And that's the guy's, you know, he's, Sammy is not doing anything. He's not going anywhere with his life. He doesn't have any drive to do anything. And the girls give him a little bit of a drive. But not to the end. Nothing happens. So if a character wants something, something can happen. Mud wants to get to town uh, to uh, get his girlfriend away from uh, the family of the guy he killed. You know, he has this desire to reunite with her and escape with her. That's why he's building the boat. That's why he's getting these two kids to help him. And even though we see he's, he feels uneasy about it, he does, uh, he, you know, they steal a motor for him because that's the last thing they need on the boat. They have it all fixed up. It's ready to go, but they don't have a motor. Um, you know, and you can tell he doesn't really want them to do it, you know, but he's got no options. They do it. Um, so because he wants to get away, he needs to get away, he's fear, you know, fear is getting caught, and because he wants to get his, the woman he's loved all his life, in fact, she's the one who saved him when he was bitten by a cotton mouth as a kid. So he's got to get her. So his desires and fears drive the plot. They make stuff happen. So plot and character go together in a good story. They mesh really nicely. So we're wondering about the characters. We're getting to know them, to like them or not like them. And also things are happening along the way. So the tension builds. You know, are they going to catch him? Are they going to catch him? 